Becoming a field service engineer is an exciting career that combines technical expertise, problem solving skills, and a passion for customer service. Field service engineers play a crucial role when it comes to the upkeep and maintenance of systems and different types of equipment. If you're interested in being a field service engineer, this video is going to guide you through the essential steps needed to become a field service engineer. Welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness through optimization. I'm John, I'm a field service engineer and an entrepreneur. And on this channel, we talk about all things relating to being a field service engineer. Step one is to obtain relevant education. As a field service engineer, you're going to need a high school diploma or equivalent level of education. Focusing on subjects like math, physics, and computer science are going to help you lay the foundation needed for technical knowledge. If you're someone that's in college or you're getting ready to start college, you're going to want to focus on getting a degree in a relevant field like electrical engineering or mechanical engineering. If college isn't for you, it wasn't for me. Getting the technical knowledge elsewhere through experience, for example, I went through the Navy. I was able to get my electrical background through working on radars as well as weapon systems while in the Navy. You, on the other hand, can follow alternative vocational or technical programs that offer uh, certs in electronics or industrial maintenance that can help you get the necessary skills that are needed to be a field service engineer. After you have the education down, number two is going to be to gain practical experience. While you're pursuing your education, if you have the ability to gain practical experience, this is something that you should definitely do. Try to find internships, co-op programs, and entry-level positions that are going to allow you to gain the necessary experience needed to be a field service engineer. This, in the long run, is going to set you apart when you're actually out of school, getting ready to get that first job. It's going to be a great way to get uh, hands-on experience as well as get a better understanding of what a field service engineer actually does. First-hand experience is something that can sometimes be invaluable. One thing this will allow you to do is actually to see if being a field service engineer is right for you. This brings us to number three, let's develop our technical skills. Field service engineers, no matter what industry you're in, require a solid foundation in technical skills. You're going to want to focus and hone in your skills when it comes to troubleshooting, maintenance, as well as repairs, as these are going to be things you deal with on the daily. Take time to familiarize yourself with tools, software, as well as technologies that are used in the field, especially when it comes to your industry. Stay up to date and stay sharp through continuous learning as well as professional development opportunities that hopefully are provided to you. For number four, we're talking about honing in on your soft skills. This is something that I personally do through making YouTube videos, which by the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and smash that thumbs up button as well. Sharing this video helps the channel grow and it gets this information out to other people that might be field service engineers or interested in being field service engineers as well. It's a fact, you're going to need good interpersonal skills and communication skills when it comes to being a field service engineer. Being able to communicate effectively with clients, colleagues, and possible stakeholders is going to help you stand out as a field service engineer. Try to enhance your problem solving ability and your critical thinking in order to handle complicated or challenging situations on the fly. If you're able to cultivate a customer centric mindset and deliver great customer service, oh man, you're ahead of the pack. The name of the game is to deliver exceptional service. So much so that the customer is definitely going to remember who you are next time you show up. When it comes to service, this is something that Untitled Label, which myself am able to provide as a field service engineer. I've decided to take on a little bit more of a challenge and create technical videos for corporate companies that need the service. Oftentimes, speaking from experience, uh, field service engineers are stuck with technical documents that may be a little bit lacking or may not necessarily have all the information they need to get a job done. Untitled Label can fill that void by creating high quality, very intuitive videos for your company. So if you're interested or know someone that might be, make sure to email Untitled Label. Number five is going to be obtaining relevant certifications. Doing this is going to help you enhance your credentials as well as your marketability when it comes to being a field service engineer. 
No matter what industry you're in, being able to take the skill set that you have or have learned and being it applied to another industry is something that makes a good field service engineer. So if you have the opportunity to get good certs, why not do it? So this is where you're going to want to do a little bit of research and find what certs are applicable to you. Find things that are a little bit interesting that actually hold some kind of value and spend time chasing and getting those certs. These certs are important because they validate your technical expertise and your dedication to professional growth. Number six is going to be to build a professional network. This is where sites like LinkedIn or Facebook can come in handy. Networking can be crucial when it comes to career advancement. After all, it's who you know, not what you know. This is something that I've come to learn when it comes to being a working professional. After all, being able to meet people that are well-connected or in positions that you might wanna be interacting with them, getting to know them a little bit better can give you a slight edge over the competition. I've mentioned this in another one of my videos about depression and loneliness as a field service engineer. You're going to want to join these forums, join these groups that are kind of related to your field, your industry, as these are going to be a great resource for interconnecting with other field service engineers. In the long run, these are going to be helpful when it comes to landing and finding potential job leads. Number seven is going to be to search for job opportunities. You did it. You went to school, you got the education, you got the experience. Now it's time for you to land that job that you've been looking for. You're going to want to search for positions in various industries. Take into account which industry you might be more so interested in, but find industries that are going to require field service engineers, for example, in manufacturing, telecommunication, healthcare, and energy. Those are just a few examples of markets that are going to require field service engineers. We touched on this before, networking and using sites like LinkedIn are going to only help you find that dream job. When it comes to landing that dream job, make sure to tailor your resume so it fits uh, that position that you're applying for. You're also going to have a cover letter that's only going to help you stand out a little bit more as well as a candidate. These resumes should highlight your technical skills, relevant experience, as well as your customer service capabilities. I wanna actually give a shout out to Jose Luis. He actually recently reached out to me about his uh, resume. He's currently in Dominican Republic. Uh, he's interested in getting a position as a field service engineer in the United States. And I'm actually in the process of reviewing his resume, helping him tailor his resume. That way he can land that dream position, that good job as a field service engineer. So Jose, let's get that job. So things are really heating up. You got that interview. Let's talk about how to prepare for a job interview. You're going to want to familiarize yourself with common interview questions and practicing your responses. Which by the way, if you want me to make a video on this subject, let me know in the comments below. Again, like you already did this on your resume, you're going to want to outline and focus on your customer service capabilities, your technical knowledge, as well as your job experience. Highlight your problem solving abilities. Demonstrate your adaptability, your strong work ethic, and your ability to adapt to a fast changing environment. This is something that you're going to be doing as a field service engineer. Companies want to see a good candidate that can demonstrate all these things. But hey, don't beat yourself up because sometimes you'll have all these skill sets. You'll actually be able to demonstrate all these skill sets and you still may get passed up on the opportunity or you might get snubbed. It's okay though, because there's plenty more opportunities out there. The thing is just keep applying and keep putting yourself out there. Last thing we'll talk about is number nine, continuous learning and career growth. You finally secured that position. Man, congrats. But the hard work starts now. Embrace a mindset of continuous learning and professional growth. In order to keep up with the changing times, especially when it comes to this type of job, you're going to want to seek out ways to advance career-wise. Be proactive when it comes to advancing your skills as well as your knowledge. Well, that's it. I literally just outlined how to become a field service engineer. Now it's up to you to put it into practice and wish you all success. Again, I'm John with Untitled Label. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and share with someone else that might find this useful. This is something you can do and it doesn't cost you a thing. With that said, I'll catch you on the next one. It's like 100 degrees outside here in Houston and I'm still wearing a hoodie just because it's my brand. That's dedication.